Okay, so this is the key for our percentage composition worksheet, and um, we're just going to kind of work through these, a few problems here and there um, that you can refer back to. Pretty much once I do one, um, you can apply the same kind of principle to the other. So be sure to show all work as shown in class, so make sure you've recorded and not recorded, to watch the videos that I've recorded. Um, you want to keep two decimal places in all percent composition answers, okay? And then obviously your answers will be percent of the elements. So it says write the formulas for the following compounds and determine the percent composition of each, which means each element. So nitric acid is HNO3. Um, ammonia we already have. Um, we'll do some more of these here in a minute. So on this first one, I, I want to list my elements as if I were calculating molar mass in which I will be calculating molar mass here. Okay, 1.01, 14.01, we get these masses from the periodic table. Um, 3 times 16, just double check, it's 48. When I add all of these up, I get a total molecular mass of 6302. Now when we find the percent composition of each element, we're going to find the percent of hydrogen we're going to find the percent of nitrogen and then the percent of oxygen. Okay. When finding hydrogen, we want to take the mass that hydrogen contributed to this total. So 1.01 .01 divided by 63.02 and multiply it by 100. Same thing for nitrogen, 14.01, 63.02 times 100. And then when we get to oxygen, the mistake that students make is they just put the 16, but remember there's three oxygen atoms, so we have to use the mass of three oxygen atoms, which is 48, 63.02 times 100. Now I can type all of those into my calculator, 1.01 .01 divided by 63.02 times 100. I want to keep two decimal places, so 1.60% hydrogen. Next one I have is 1401 divided by 6302 times 100. I get 22.23% nitrogen. And then my last one, 48 divided by 6302 times 100. I get 76.17% oxygen. Now, to check ourselves, which I don't require you to check, but uh, it'd be a good idea on a test and so on. When I add these percentages up, since we're dealing with a percent out of 100, when I add these up, it should give me a total of 100. Sometimes you'll get like 99.99, and that's okay too. Um, but if you've rounded everything properly, you should get 100%. Um, I'm going to jump down to C, dealing with a hydrate. And you may need a little bit of room here, so kind of write small. Uh, mercury 2 is HG2 plus. Sulfate is SO4 2 minus. So when I write this compound, a 2 plus and a 2 minus cancel out. So that's the mercury 2 sulfate portion. Hexa is 6 waters. Okay, so what I like to do on the, these types of problems when dealing with hydrates is I just like to read left to right. So one mercury, one sulfur, four oxygens that come from that. When you're applying how many waters or how many of each element in the water portion, it's six times two. It'd be 12 H's and then six times one oxygen. And um, this is just a method that I like. Some people like to combine the total number of oxygens. That's fine. It's really up to you. Okay, grabbing our periodic table, um, mercury is pretty heavy, 200.59, sulfur is 32.07, we've got 4 times 16, 12 times 1.01, .01, and then 6 times 16. I'm just going to add all of these up in our calculator, 200.59 plus 32.07 plus 4 times 16, plus 12 times 1.01, .01, plus 6 times 16. A pretty big molar mass of 404.78. Now, when you are finding 
each element. You will be combining the total number of oxygens um, when you get to the percent of oxygen. So, percent of mercury. Take the mass of mercury, divide it by the total. Multiply it by 100. Percent of sulfur. 3207 divided by the total mass. Multiply it by 100. Percent of oxygen. Now, I'm going to take the percent of oxygen here. Let me get a highlighter. Uh, sorry, the mass of oxygen here. And the mass of the oxygen here because I want total amount of oxygen. Okay, so 4 times 16 plus 6 times 16 gives me a mass of 160. Okay, um, divided by the total times 100. And then I do need to factor in hydrogen, which I'm kind of running out of room. I apologize. Percent hydrogen is 12.12 divided by 404.78 multiplied by 100. So let's calculate each of these. 200.59 divided by 404.78 times 100 gives me 49.56 percent mercury. Okay, sulfur 3207 divided by 404.78 times 100. 7.92 percent sulfur. 160 divided by 404.78 times 100 gives me 39.53% oxygen. And then last but not least, 12.12 .12 divided by 404.78 times 100 gives me 2.99% hydrogen. As with any problem, I want to double check to make sure that my percentages add up to 100. So 49.56 plus 7.92 plus 39.53 plus 2.99, magic number 100. I know that I'm good. Okay, so in this bottom half on the, the second set, it says calculate the percentage of the given element. So in the top portion, we found the percent composition of each element. These problems, we're gonna find a specific um, element. Okay, so part A, nitrogen. We wanna calculate how much nitrogen is in this total compound. Now you still have to calculate the molar mass, so let's count total number of nitrogens. I've got two N's, right here and right here. I've got a total of four H's, one C and one O. Let's double check to make sure we have a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, four, five, six, seven, eight elements. Very good. Okay, so calculate the mass. And by the way, after you do these several times, you get to memorize the uh, masses without even realizing that you're doing it. <laughs> okay, so 2 times 14.01 plus 4 times 1.01 plus 12.01 plus 16. So I have a total molar mass of 60.07. And since I'm only finding the percent of nitrogen, I only care about how much mass nitrogen contributed to the 60.07. So 28.02 divided by 60.07 times 100. I get 46.65% nitrogen. Okay. Now the other other two, you need to make sure you write the correct formula. So in problem set number three, we are calculating the percentage of water in the following hydrates. Um, now, first off, you have to write a correct formula. So strontium is a two plus, chloride is a one minus. So when I put that portion together, I get SrCl2. Hexa is six, so it's six water. So this is my Compound. I want to see how much water percentage makes up this compound. So let's find the molar mass. 
one strontium, two chlorines. I've got six times two, 12 hydrogens. Six times one, oxygen. So strontium on the periodic table is 87.62. Two times 35.45. 12 times 1.01, .01 and 6 times 16. I'm going to find the total mass here. 87.62 plus 2 times 35.45 plus 12 times 1.01 .01 plus 6 times 16. Okay, so I get a total mass of 266.64. Now when I'm finding the percent of water, I need to know the total mass of just my water portion. And since there's 12 H's and 6 O's, I want to add this portion together, so 12 point, uh, 12 times 1.01 .01 plus 6 times 16. This portion of water is 108.12, okay? It's how much mass my water contributes. So, percent of water equals 108.12 divided by 266.64 times 100. My percentage of water, if I put that in the calculator, is 40.55% of water. Okay, problem set four. Working with hydrates again, except we're going to be looking at the element, specific element in the hydrate. Once again, we do have to find the correct formula, um, but these processes are the same. So we're going to look at nickel in nickel 2 acetate tetrahydrate. So nickel 2 is Ni2+, acetate is the chow 232. Um, I don't care if you use the other version, that is up to you. So Ni, acetate ion is in parentheses. Tetra is 4, H2. So this is the correct formula. Okay. Let's find the molar mass. Now I'm going to have to squeeze some of this in, so bear with me. One nickel. We have a total of two times two is four carbons. Two times three is six hydrogens. Two times two is four oxygens. Now this is just the nickel acetate part. I do want to count in that there's eight more hydrogens from the water, and there are four more oxygens from the water. So let's get the masses here. And we'll do the total mass here. Okay, so 8 times 1.01, .01, 4 times 16. Uh, nickel on the periodic table is 58.69. Carbon is 12.01, .01, 6 times 1.01, .01, and 4 times 16. So let's add up all of these to get a mass. So we get 58.69 plus 4 times 12.01. .01, plus 6 times 1.01 .01 plus 4 times 16 plus 8 times 1.01 .01 plus 4 times 16. We get a total mass of 248.87. Okay. Now, to find the percentage of nickel, I only care about the mass that nickel contributes. So 58.69 divided by the total mass multiplied by 100. So nickel contributes to 23.58%. Now, uh, C and D are done the exact same way. I will tell you the hard part about problems like this is whenever you're dealing with um, a hydrate and it asks you to find the total oxygens, okay, or total hydrogens. Um, if you come across a problem, and you won't have it on your homework, but where you have to do the hydrogen or oxygen, make sure you look at both sets of hydrogens if you decide to separate them, okay? Okay, last but not least, the hardest ones. <laughs> and it says calculate the mass of the given element in each of the following quantities. You must use dimensional analysis to receive credit. So this is a multi-step process. We want to know the mass of oxygen in four grams of manganese dioxide. So we can use our percentage composition to isolate 
exactly how much oxygen is made up in 4 grams. If we find the percentage that oxygen exists in manganese dioxide um, just as a percentage, we can apply that percentage to 4 grams and that percentage should match the amount of grams of oxygen. So let's write a successful formula. Manganese is MN, and actually manganese dioxide, this is going to tell us what the formula is, MnO2. Okay, let's go ahead and calculate the molar mass of each of these. So MN is 54.942 times 16. I get a total mass of 54.94 plus 2 times 16. Um, total mass of my compound is 86.94. Okay, so my percent composition of oxygen um, is 32 divided by 86.94. We can actually think of this in two different ways. I'm going to go ahead and do it this way. Uh, 86.94 times 100. Okay, so we know that oxygen makes up 36.81% of this compound, no matter how many grams we have. Let's say that we had 100 grams. Well, we would have 36.81 grams of oxygen. So we can kind of apply that theory um, to this, but we're going to use dimensional analysis. So, 4 grams of Mn... O2. Okay. Percentage wise, let's use the 100% theory. Let's say that I have 100 grams of MnO2. Based on this alone, we know that 36.81% of it is contributed to oxygen. Therefore, 36.81 grams would be how much oxygen would be out of the 100 gram sample. Remember, this is a conversion factor. Okay, so if I had a 100 gram sample, 36.81% or grams would be contributed to oxygen. Um, and now at this point, I just type this into my calculator. So 1.47 grams would be how much oxygen I would have based if I had a four gram sample of manganese dioxide. Okay, this right here is assumed. Okay, this right here was the percentage composition. Okay, and that's the relationship between the percent of oxygen and what I found with the percent comp. 